So hello everyone, uh, this is Riley Sky, and I'm here with another uh, video based on AM2R, another another Metroid 2 remake. And I wasn't expecting to make another video because the last one I did, I just showed everyone like how to easily get a copy of uh, AM2R, which is still out there, still free to get. You don't have to pay for anything. No one's asking you to, and no one's demanding you should. And it's still easy to get, even though some people say that, oh, well, I can't get it anymore. They cease and desist it. Well, that's probably Nintendo fans talking, but I digress. Anyways, um, yeah, anyways, um, I want to show you because there has been a new update to it. So I'm going to take you to it right now. So I'm on the Reddit form, which I will post a link in the description to. And um, I'm going to go over uh, what this is. Basically, they released what's they have called the AM2R launcher and for Windows and Android. Now, from what I understand, this will make updating the game very easy and convenient as opposed to just downloading the newest uh, zip file every time because they do get bigger. And this is uh, right now, it's meant for like uh, Windows as well as like uh, Android, though you have to do the respiratory uh, repo repository. Uh, patch on it but that's a bit complicated and I don't have like a Android device so I have my phone but I don't know if I can get that uh, running so I just want to go over uh, what this is it will like I said it's going to make uh, things uh, convenient for you to update as far as Windows is concerned as well as like getting a uh, high quality music on it every time because it does they do take up a lot of space and let's go over the patch notes here and if I go to paste bins here it's the same thing as uh, what I'll be covering here. So basically, it enables ne enable negative X offsets for title overlays. New format is at the top of the README file as usual. Sc subscreen ammo sprites updated. So I imagine that's like the ammo like uh, display is kind of updated. Re implemented the nightmare landing site step tog. So I don't remember what that in implies, but because I haven't played this game from start to finish in like a few years. So. And the next thing they have is update the extra menu, extras menu to hide shader options if they are unsupported on the targeted platform. So if it's not supported on, like, say, Mac, then it won't show up on the Mac version. If uh, vice versa with um, Windows, if it's supported or not. So I think that's pretty cool. Well, anyways, uh, reduced uh, Metroid Queen Metroid's body contact damage during the first moment movement phase. Now I don't remember like that being an issue for me. Uh, it was kind of a pain in the ass to defeat the first uh, phase though I can't really remember so the next one is they removed all down downward waterfall room transitions except the very top one now I do remember the water waterfall uh, transitions being a pretty convenient way to uh, backtrack as opposed to just going through the tedious routes every time but again I don't remember that being an issue so anyways uh, fix widescreen language variant title overlay detection fix Linux area in Intro translation loading, fixed display scaling when widescreen is enabled. The game should no longer extend beyond screens with non standard aspect ratios. Now, I remember playing this game in the 4x3 aspect ratio. I didn't play in widescreen, so I think I, since then they've just enabled that and they've had some issues and they've patched that out. And fixed a hard lock in the distribution center on hard slash fusion difficulty by disabling bomb block regeneration in one room. Now, I haven't played through hard mode, nor have I played through uh, fusion mode. And from what I understand, those are pretty difficult modes, though. I've only beaten this game on normal mode, though. Hopefully, when I get around to doing a stream of this, I will play through hard mode. But anyways, um, fixed several widescreen tiling errors, as well as a few more series AI bugs including the notorious spinning bug and I think I remember the series AI though I don't remember it having issues but that might be my memory contradicting me anyways I'm um, fixed an animation bug that affected the testers cannons as well as a scrolling bug in the display options menu on Android fixed a camera snapping issue and widescreen and other minor fixes and um, from what I can uh, understand this is only like a small patch for, to prepare for a much larger um, patch that they're going to be releasing uh, later on. So so let's get into uh, downloading it. 
So you want to go to Mediafire, Fire, or if you want, you can go to this website, which again, I'll provide the link in the description below. So I, if I remember, this is 1.5.2. So you just download this. Again, there's no uh, malware to this. Because if there was like uh, viruses or anything uh, shady, my uh, Windows Defender would have caught up on it. Oh yeah, I already downloaded it. So, I should, oh yeah, for Mac and Linux. I don't know how it works on Mac because I never tested it on that format. Now, I should also note that you need AM2R 1.1, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. And you can get it here, which again, I'll provide in the link in the description. And you want to go to the older versions and you're going to download 1.1. So you download that, and you just wait, oh jeez, 30 seconds, I need it now. Oh, and hey, my brother's playing uh, Master Chief Collection, even though I just got done playing it, <laughs> because I was testing my uh, new Xbox uh, One controller, because I got really tired of uh, trying to configure my uh, Xbox 360 controller with uh, Xbox 360 accessories, uh, program it just kept giving me issues because this is meant for like a uh, windows uh 7 and probably windows 8 so it was a real pain in the ass to reset up every time it just didn't recognize the controller and after like a couple of hours fiddling around with it i just gave up so i have like an xbox one controller it worked great but i kind of don't like the feel of the analog uh, stick so i'll probably get past that and so with all that being said we now have our files so if we go to download we're going to, well, I don't need uh, this because, uh, so you're going to right click, extract all, and then you just assign it to whatever like uh, folder you want. So in this case right now, I'm just gonna assign it to download. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, the AM2R 1.1 and move it into the AM2R launcher. And with that, we will launch it right now. And it's asking me, Prevent unrecognized. Uh, that doesn't mean there's a uh, malware on it. It just says it doesn't really uh, recognize it, which I don't blame. It's just brand new. It came out like a day or two ago. I saw this on Twitter with the AM2R account, though. I don't know if it's affiliated with Milton Gustani. I kind of doubt it because he can't work on it anymore because, as I said, the cease and desist only applies to him. He can't work on it anymore. That doesn't mean the game is inaccessible. Otherwise, this video would be non-existent. So it might, but it's just going to require a lot of work around. So it's downloading the base patch files. So as you can see here, it pretty much like a uh, explain like a uh, detail is what I just covered. So this is, this may take some time exclamation point. And so this is going to be pretty convenient whenever you uh, update AM2R. Since, like I said, you'll no longer have to download the zip files over and over again. I think you gotta get them from like a Mediafire or a GitHub. So it's pretty easy to like uh, just put a bookmark on the Reddit page and just wait for newer updates to come. And wow, this is taking quite a while, isn't it? So I'm just gonna jump cut to where it actually gets uh, done. Okay, so as you can see, it came up with uh, 1.1 not found. Press install 1.1 to load AM2R underscore 11, which is 1.1. So this is normal. This is normal. That means you have it. So you want to keep this checked. So install 1.1, which we have right here. And ready to update, go. So again, this is going to take a while, maybe uh, shorter than uh, getting up. All right, so it's packed. The patch is finished and it's all set to go. So if you want to create like a APK uh, files for the Android, you can by creating this and um, it's kind of a bit more uh, comp like a bit more uh, work uh, to do if you're going to play this on Android. Though if you're going to get like an Android, I should also note that you should leave this unchecked because with the high quality music, it will like cause the game to slow down like in performance from what I've uh, heard so far. So let's uh, play and hope that my Xbox One controller will actually work. So that's disappearing. That's normal. Yep, here it is. All right, yes, I recognize my controller. 
So we go to the options menu and I can't really access much like options for like the special things. All right, so we do have a full screen enabled. We have widescreen enabled, disabled. So I'm going to keep it enabled for now. Again, you have these adjusters. All right, so let's see. Um, yeah, no, I don't know why I'm fiddling around with that. The extras, I can't do much of it because um, I haven't unlocked uh, all the things yet. And as you see, uh, all the filters that I mentioned in the previous video are there. All right, so we go to... Uh, I'm going to continue. So, yeah, this is a widescreen, which I don't think I showed off in the previous video. So, yeah, it's... Oh, yeah, it's picking on my Xbox uh, One controller really well. You know, I thought it would not look that good for widescreen because of how... Of how, like, other, like, uh, Game Boy Advance such games were emulated to try to hack it as widescreen but it actually works pretty well here because well mainly because this game was uh made from the ground up well being inspired by a few assets all right so we have this uh, first metroid so pretty much all the same from what i remembered years ago still smart bastard well not this one in particular all right so that will uh about do it. If I can get to it. Yep. So that's pretty much it for the update is concerned. It's basically the launcher and all that goodness. And um, yeah, that's a, that actually works well. So whenever you uh, start this game up, it's highly recommended that you go through the AM2R launcher. And so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for uh, AM2R version 1.5.2. And um, if I see another like uh, update that comes around, I will uh, make a video of that and cover what's uh, been updated. So until then, I will catch you all later. Thank you for watching.